My father-in-law is a member of a boat club and offered to run us out in one of the club boats to retrieve our anchor. We were out there after a squall came through, so the visibility was bad, but I had my dive gear this time, and that's all that mattered. It took about 20 minutes to find the anchor. The chain was wrapped three times around a steel bar that protruded upwards. It took another 15 minutes or so to untangle the mess of line I had brought down with me and haul up the anchor. It was a mistake on my part for not tying the line up better before I dove with it, but I did however tie my first underwater bowl in. After I retrieved the Ragna, Randy and her dad couldn't get the power boat's baby anchor up, so I had to dive back down again and untangle it so we could head back. Hey guys, I'm on the boat today and as you've noticed, a couple things might have changed. First being my beard is gone, obviously uh, there's a reason for it. We didn't actually meet our goal of 5,000 subs, uh, 20 patrons yet, but I had to shave it because I was interviewing for jobs and I wanted to look professional, so gone. But the goal for 5,000 subscribers is, is still on. We're still going to do the man overboard drill uh, as soon as we get 5,000 subs, so that's that. But 
Uh, as far as everything else goes, just wanted to give you a quick update. Basically, I've accepted a position. Uh, it's not the original position that I thought that I was going to be accepting. It's a different one. I had a couple offers come in, so uh, I ended up taking the one that was best for us, but we're going to be staying in Tampa. Channel's not going anywhere. Boat's not going anywhere. This is going to be the best option for us uh, as far as for our lifestyle, for being able to st sail still and everything. So it's looking up. Everything's looking good. Uh, I apologize for not uploading, uploading too many or uploading any videos past couple of weeks, but I've been, like I said, applying to jobs, uh, you know, work, still working full time, uh, that kind of thing. So just been generally pretty busy. What I'm going to be doing is actually uploading videos every other week, just while I get, just for the first couple months that I'm in the job, just so I can get used to everything. I got a couple things done on the boat. In the meantime, I, the next step for us for the boat projects is actually going to be painting the bulkheads which is what I'm out here to do today and then putting in the new headliners. I haven't filmed any of it because the only thing more fun than filming sanding is watching someone sand. Um, so basically I've taken everything down to, two, to 220 uh, on the bulkheads and I've made sure that uh, I've got the trim pieces uh, natural basically down to the natural teak. I got the varnish off and that's down to 220 as well because we're, the, the trim pieces, I'm not sure if I'm going to oil them or if I'm going to varnish them yet. I think I'm going to varnish them, but um, basically we're going to leave the trim pieces that teak look and then we're going to paint the rest white because the actual bulkheads themselves are, they're solid, but they're not the most cosmetically perfect. So now that I've sanded and cleaned all the surfaces, uh, all I need to do is put up some tape and we'll be ready for paint. Almost two hours later and boom. All the taping's done. pretty horrendous but you got to remember this is just the first coat alrighty so this is after two coats and it's looking a lot better as you can tell obviously there's still some imperfections and everything you can see where it's not a hundred percent even but I think I think four coats is going to be perfect, so two more. I'm literally just using household paint. It is exterior. Uh, you can kind of, it's exterior satin enamel. It's just not, it wasn't expensive. It's like 30 bucks for this, this gallon. Just bought it at Home Depot. I think exterior grade paint for the interior of a boat is probably going to be sufficient. Uh, I think doing a marine grade coating is expensive and in this application not necessarily required. Some people might disagree but we'll see how this holds up and only time will tell. Would you look at that? You just gotta look at it. Definitely still some spots that need to be touched up and worked on, but get the main bulk of everything done. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The next video will be posted in two weeks.